My name is Barnabas Collins. Two centuries ago, I made Collinwood my home. It is a blast from the past, from the dark ages of the 1970s, Dark Shadows. What have you done? Barnabas Collins and friends are back from the undead. What the hell is this? He's coming. He's coming. Hear me, future dweller. What is the year? 1972. 1972. Dark Shadows comes from the mind of Tim Burton. He's just staying with us forever, is he? I like him. Oh, super fat. Welcome home, Barnabas Collins. How soon can the horses be ready? We don't have horses. We have a Chevy. Burton turned to a favorite Johnny Depp to play the leading role. The Collins family built this town. We built it with our boats and our nets, with our sacrifices and our blood. And this is how you repay us. For the leading female role, Burton cast a former Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer, but not before a few phone calls and constant begging. It was pretty shameless, though. Um, I'm actually embarrassed to admit that I did it. My father had quite a flair for secret passages and rooms. I came so close to not getting the part in Batman with him to play Catwoman, um, and only because Annette Bening fell out of it. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm not gonna let that happen this time. As a boy, I took it upon myself to discover each one. Family is the only real wealth you would often remark. I think also because I, I happened to be working with a mutual friend of ours, and I, and she, she kept really, um, pushing me to call him, and I, I, I um, anyway, so I finally did, and I was, of course, apologizing the whole time I was talking to him, um, and assuring him that he really didn't need to cast me, but I just wanted him to know that I was interested. Oh my God. We've been sitting on top of a fortune. Know this, I mean to stay. I mean to be a part of this family again. And then a long time went by. Um, at least a year went by and I didn't hear anything. On one condition. Yes. Promise me that this, all of this, will remain our secret. So be it. Partners. I just thought, okay, you know, uh, that was embarrassing, and um, and um, it's okay, you know. And uh, and then and then, yeah, no, they called me. I was surprised. I'm on the top of what sorcery is this? Reveal yourself, tiny songstress. One of the reasons she wanted to be in this redo of Dark Shadows, Michelle grew up watching the TV show in the 1970s. You may strategically place your wonderful lips upon my posterior and kiss it repeatedly. It was just the first of its kind. There, had, there was nothing dark in general. It was kind of dark. I mean, it was about vampires, you know, and it was sort of sexy and naughty and um, scary for the time. I mean, very tame by today's standards, but, um, but for, you know, at that time, and there was nothing like it on television, and certainly nothing like it the kids were watching. What if I made you love me? With what a spell. With this. I must admit, they have not aged a day. I think our mothers maybe weren't even all that aware of what we were watching. I think they were probably getting dinner ready, and, and there we were, you know, and um, so um, it just felt like you were really, um, you know, participating in something you really shouldn't be. Action! It was like hearing my brother on the other end. I, I just, I, I think that um, I'm just very comfortable with him and he's so accessible, Tim. Open both sides of the cover, take these towels here, and then just back out. I, I just love, I, I've always, you know, sometimes you just really gel with a director and you have a kind of a shorthand and maybe because we have similar 
upbringings. We have we kind of grew up in similar neighborhoods. We sort of ate the same food. We watched the same TV shows. And when you have that relationship with the director, it just makes the process so fun. You know, it's you're not fighting each other. You're just really in sync and kind of finishing each other's sentences. And it's um, so it yeah. was um, terrific. I became a vampire. And then. I began to kill innocent townspeople. Yes, but you also kept the family business afloat and tried to keep the matter from falling apart. And Michelle finally got to go in depth with Johnny Depp on the big screen. You fought on Barnabas in your own crazy, miserable way. You fought on until they had to drag you away and lock you in an iron box to keep you from fighting. My God, you're right. You fought on because it's in your blood. Well, it was kind of like, you know, that the introductory scenes, I'm sort of like, okay, wow, okay, this, how, okay, it's not really how I would react because I would be, you know, screaming bloody murder and I would sort of be calling the police. Um, <laughs> So it's sort of how do we try to ground this in some reality as much as we can at the same time. It is a movie about vampires, so a person has to really take a leap of faith and you have to go with it, um, or it's not the movie for you. What's that lens? A three? <laughs> <laughs> if he felt that you had a particularly good day acting, you would get the, f the finger award and he would take up this. <laughs> fingernail, a fingernail, he would take off one of those disgusting fingernails and he would <laughs> give it to you. So I have the Barnabas fingernail award. Yeah. Michelle keeps touching me, Tim. <laughs> Michelle keeps touching me. If I can't have you, I'll destroy you and your family. And if Michelle could go back to the future like Barnabas Collins, what would she like to see happen? I shall restore the family business to its former glory. Burn, baby, burn. I would hope that they've managed to save the planet. Um, I would hope that um, we had solved the unemployment issue um, and people were working. And I would hope that we, um, everyone could afford health care. Um, maybe we would find a cure for cancer. Is that too much? Fight on, Barnabas. Fight on for us. And fight, I shall. Love me. Never. That was a regrettable turn of events.